To begin, click on the New Composition button. The defaults work fine, so go ahead and hit OK. Next, go over to the Effects and Presets pane and in the search box, type Lightning. Because we're doing a lightning strike in this video, I'm going to drag the vertical strike effect onto my composition. Click and drag your lightning to reposition it. You can also use the handles to resize it if you'd like. Now, a quick way to immediately change the direction of your strike is to drag the circular markers on your lightning. The top marker controls the origin location. The bottom marker controls the direction your lightning strikes in. To see more advanced options, go ahead and open up your timeline layer until you see your advanced lightning options. The main thing you want to play with at first is the lightning type. This will allow you to experiment with a number of presets that usually work well enough for the average user. The origin and direction options do precisely what we did by dragging our circles earlier, but you can change them manually and set keyframes here. You can open up the core settings or glow settings to do things like increase the radius of your lightning, and change its color. Changing the turbulence will alter how much body your lightning has. Forking will increase the amount of branches your lightning has. Now, there are more settings, including expert settings, but this should be enough to get you started. One last thing I'd like to show you is how to create the actual downward strike. To do this, go to the Effects and Presets pane and type Linear Wipe in the search box. Drag the Linear Wipe effect onto your composition. I'm going to collapse my lightning effect. Now, before continuing, make sure that your wipe is below the lightning effect. Open up your Linear Transition effect and then change the wipe angle to 0 degrees. I'm also going to increase the feathering to about 60 so that the strike doesn't look flat as it comes down. Finally, I'm going to move the ending keyframe a little closer to speed up the effect. And now, when you play back your clip, it'll have a nice looking lightning strike effect. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to create a lightning strike in After Effects.